G'day avocado enthusiasts and welcome back to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree and this series, Avocado Diaries. Behind me, I have some rather sad looking avocado trees. I started these, well, it's approaching a year ago in a fish tank and they were looking fantastic. A little while ago, they were all planted into soil and they were looking pretty reasonable. But over the last month or so, they've really started to look a little bit sad. And it's more than just the usual problems we get with avocado, typically root rot. Their soil is draining, their roots are looking okay, but their leaves are really browning. Now, it's time that we find out a bit more about what's going on and make some adjustments so that the problems stop because if we continue to let them go like this they're going to die one thought i had originally was to move them to be straight outside but at this point in winter where we're getting frost most mornings for these new avocado trees that have never experienced that i don't think that's going to be a good idea i think that'll just knock them off pretty quickly so it's still a few months until they can go outside when it warms up so we need to work out what we can do with this grow light. I have a theory. I think that the grow light is heating up too much or perhaps is doing something with the humidity to dry out and burn the leaves. I think that they're getting too hot under there and perhaps it's even drying it out. The reason why I think that is because some of the trees are directly below it and they are burning up. But one of them is off to the side and its leaves are doing okay, not fantastically, but it is an avocado tree growing inside and it is winter and it does get cold. So I think we need to find out about what's going on here and then make some adjustments to see if we can help this situation out. Because if we let them continue to go like this, I don't have a good feeling about it. So today we're going to Discover the kind of humidity and temperature we're receiving directly under this light. I do think that it's warming up because when I put my hand under it, I can feel heat coming off it already. It's, it's pretty cold in this cold, unheated, pool insulated garage, but I can certainly feel my hand heating up if I put it under here. So I think that, you know, having avocado leaves, new avocado leaves on young trees under that all day might be a problem. So. I'm going to set this for about half an hour, let it adjust to the temperature. I've also got this one down here and they will give us some data upon which we can act and make some changes. So let's set a time lapse up, see what happens and we'll check back in about half an hour. Editing Scott here now. The time lapse, uh, I lost the footage or it didn't work properly. I'm not really sure what happened, but as you can see in the following shot that the humidity meter that was on the table reads at about 67% relative air humidity, whereas the one underneath the light reads at about 57 relative air humidity and is about at one and a half degrees warmer, the one at the top that is. Okay, I'm gonna uh, continue on with the video now. I've learned that this one is indeed warmer than this one and they're reading about 10% relative air humidity difference. So this one is 10% less humid than this one down here. And I think that's a fairly significant difference. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna move the trees away from the grow light. So they're still getting light, but so that they are further away from it. I fear that during the day, all day, 10 hours that this light is on, that's too much extra heat and the humidity is too much lower than is ideal because 67% humidity, that's a nice humidity for avocado trees. So if we can keep it around there, I think that they're gonna be a lot happier. So let's move them and we'll see if it makes a difference. Okay, now that I've moved them, I'm gonna give them a bit of time to see if there are any changes for the positive is what I'm hoping for. Most of them have got new growth, so I'm not too concerned and I'm hoping that the new growth looks good, that it's not going to shrivel up and die off, that it will come, will produce some good leaves and that'll be good for the trees. So in a couple of weeks time, I will finish this video off and we'll see if it made any difference.
It has been about six weeks now, so a month and a half, since I took the table away, making the distance between the grow light, which is up there, and the avocados greater. And it might look a little uninspiring behind me, but if we take a closer look, we can actually see that the adjustments that I made are working. So if you take a look at these avocados that had new growth six weeks ago, that new growth has remained. The avocados, United States of avocados and R are looking reasonable. As I anticipated, they have dropped the leaves that were browning and that generally happens once the leaf starts to die, it, the tree will shed it. But the new leaves are looking really good. Some of the avocados are not looking great and there's a number of reasons for that. And I haven't really done this before where I grow them indoors under a grow light, especially over winter. And I know that growing them outside generally has a lot more success. So at the moment, I'm happy that we have a few avocados which are showing some good new growth. I'm feeling a little sad that it's looking like we might lose a couple. So avocado of light and chill are not looking great. I reckon avocado of light has died a little while ago and it's looking like chill is just about there as well. So I don't think that's going to come back, but we'll continue to keep them with these avocados, you know, just in case, but I, I'm certain that <laughs> Uh, avocado of light is dead, but uh, that happens with growing plants sometimes, especially when doing something new. And I haven't got a lot of experience growing them indoors. I haven't had a lot of success growing avocado trees indoors either. I find that they are much happier once they've started growing to be moved outside. So we will be doing that very soon. But as for now, I'm thrilled that gathering some data, you know, six weeks ago and making an adjustment based on our assumptions and what the data was telling us about the humidity and the temperature with proximity to the light has made a difference. And that is part of keeping plants, both indoors and outdoors. It's about looking at the different things that are having an effect on the plant. And if you're noticing a negative effect, adjusting things so that you can find out what is going wrong and then also what is going right. So moving them away from the heat of the lamp and away from the dry air has certainly helped here. But I think we're just about ready to move these outside. It is now spring in Melbourne, Australia, and that means that it's going to be time to move them outside. So that's what you have to look forward to in our next Avocado Diaries instalment. I'm going to be starting to transition these avocados to be living outdoors, and I'm hoping that even though they're looking a little sad at the moment, the new growth is just going to continue, and we're going to have some fantastic avocados over the next few months. So. That's what we have to look forward to. So thank you very much for watching this video today. I am, you know, I've been a little nervous about these trees. They're not looking awesome, but they are certainly growing, uh, especially the couple that have got that new growth, which is good considering we've been growing them inside. I don't have that experience under a grow light during winter. If you'd like to see more avocado videos, please consider subscribing to Scott Grows and Avocado Tree, where I make videos like this, as well as other avocado related videos from experiments, which we have coming up later in the year, and other information about keeping your avocados healthy. I'm also on Instagram at Scott Grows and Avocado Tree. And if you haven't checked out my new channel, That's Pretty Cool, I would love it if you could check that out. On That's Pretty Cool, I go into all sorts of videos about things that make me curious and familiar with wonder. It gives me a lot more scope than just talking about avocados, which of course I am very excited about. So thank you once again for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. No spiders, please. No spiders, please. No spiders, please. Oh, that was a spider. Ooh. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.